Meghan Markle, 37, became a member of the royal family in May 2018. However, it wasn't long before other family members from Meghan's U.S. past began to court the media. A body language expert has analyzed a throwback snap of her and her father, Thomas Markle. Meghan Markle's relationship with her father Thomas played out in the media causing a dramatic, soap opera feel to the royal wedding. Thomas, who is 72 and lives in Mexico, was caught taking staged pictures with Papa Rossi weeks before the wedding. The former cinematographer, who Kensington Palace had confirmed would walk the royal bride to be down the aisle, told the press he would not be able to attend the wedding after suffering a heart attack and undergoing heart surgery. He did not attend the wedding, causing Prince Charles, 70, to step in and walk Meghan partway down the aisle of St. George's Chapel. Since then, Thomas claims his daughter has refused to speak to him. However, he published a letter sent to him privately by the Duchess shortly after her wedding. Meghan Markle's letter to her father addressed her relationship with her father. It read, T is with a heavy heart that I write this, not understanding why you have chosen to take this path, turning a blind eye to the pain you're causing. Your actions have broken my heart into a million pieces not simply because you have manufactured such unnecessary and unwarranted pain, but by making the choice to not tell the truth as you are puppeteered in this. Something I will never understand. You've told the press that you called me to say you weren't coming to the wedding that didn't happen because you never called. Now a body language expert has analyzed pictures of Meghan Markle and her father together in earlier years. Body language expert Juddy James told Express.co.uk that this image shows how devastating Meghan's argument with her father must have been. She also claims Meghan's role of peacemaker may have been inspired by her family background. Juddy said, her body language is warm, tactile and lacking in the kind of vanity or scene-stealing traits you might expect from a future actress and she looks so keen to form and display strong and happy family and friendship ties. She looks like the tie that binds in her relationships and this role could have emerged as a result of her parents' divorce when she was six if she saw her role as one of keeping her two families happy and harmonious. It also hints at how devastating the split with her father could be to her and how this might have been something she would have gone to the greatest lengths to avoid happening. The image of Meghan in question shows the Duchess of Sussex as a teenager, wearing a baggy fitting striped t-shirt and sunglasses on top of her head. She is hanging off her father's shoulder, resting her head on her hands. They stand in the sun, as Thomas looks at the camera with his hands in his pockets. Meghan's father's body language is quite complex in this photo, Juddy said. He looks rather guarded, leaning to one side with a mouth clamp, Dan turned smile and with his hands stuffed in his pockets rather than reciprocating in the much more tactile behavior from Meghan. Meghan is much more open in her emotions and keen to show her feelings for her dad. Juddy said, she hangs off his shoulder and rests her head against it in a double gesture of affection bordering on hero worship. Her pose makes her look like she's showering love and fun on her dad here but with a rather low response from him. Now Meghan is preparing to welcome her own child into the world. But can Meghan Markle's due date be predicted by her body language? Sweetly, the body language expert claims it will be the excited new dad Prince Harry who won't be able to help to but let the cat out of the bag. Who is Meghan Markle? Quick profile Meghan Markle was born Rachel Meghan Markle on August 4, 1981 to parents Doria Ragland and father Thomas Markle. Her father was previously married to Rosalyn Loveless and Meghan has two elder half-sibling sister Samantha Markle and brother Thomas Markle Jr. Actress, Meghan's first television appearance in the USA was in an episode of the medical drama General Hospital in 2002. She later moved on to roles in Xie, Without a Trace and Castle along with bit parts in Hollywood films including Get Him to the Greek, Remember Me and Horrible Bosses. Megan was also a briefcase girl on Deal or No Deal but her most famous role was as Rachel Zane in Legal Drama Suits, which launched in 2011. 
She was written out in the finale of the seventh series when her character got married, which aired in April 2018 just before she got married herself. Charity and Humanitarian Work Meghan Markle's career in television has gone hand in hand with her support for causes close to her heart. She wrote about the stigma around menstrual health in an article for Time magazine and was a global ambassador for World Vision Canada with whom she traveled to Rwanda for the charity's clean water campaign. And her commitment to gender equality has seen her work with the United Nations receiving a standing ovation in 2015 for her speech to mark International Women's Day. Relationships In September 2011, she wed film producer Trevor Engelson who she began dating in 2004. But the pair divorced two years later in August 2013, citing irreconcilable difference. She was in a relationship with celebrity chef Corey Vitiello for almost two years, before they broke it off in 2016 but the two remain good friends. And in June 2016, she met Prince Harry on a blind date set up by a mutual friend. Their relationship began in October that year and just over one year later, on November 27, 2017, the pair announced their engagement. They married on May 19, 2018 at St. George's Chapel in Windsor Castle. Meghan's Heritage Some have claimed Meghan Markle is the first mixed-race member of the royal family. Historians are still arguing about Queen Charlotte, the wife of King George III. But Meghan will be the first royal to openly embrace a mixed-race heritage. She has written about the difficulties of being a biracial actress in Hollywood as she claims she is not black enough for some roles and not white enough for others. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to get instant news update.